everybody and welcome to the Dynamic GT League educational video The Way of the DGT regarding racing etiquette within the league and about racing situations Joining me is DGT League SRI and DGT League SGP I hope you're both well today Yes I am and hello Hello, I'm alright as well <laughs> Good stuff, okay <laughs> First off, I believe we are going to be having a little bit of a look at aggressive defending. Don't defend like Vinnie Jones, just park the bus like Jose. Now, guys, what is this video all about? Because um, it's not like everyone's been smashing into each other, is it? No, it's uh, here to help uh, newcomers to the league and uh, uh, educate people on how we would like to see them drive and reduce... Possibly. Ooh. So is this how you want to see them driving then? No, they don't. They don't, they don't want to see people forcing uh, somebody off the road or kind of doing a big late braking manoeuvre into the corner that they can't control. And I'll let Steve continue on. Yeah, or, or aggressive defending either. Um, basically the video here is um, a few examples of aggressive defending or aggressive attempts of overtaking like here oh that was definitely uh late uh defensive move there but yeah it, it, if this kind of oh. stuff happens what are you meant to be doing right <laughs> you're meant to be stopping and waiting uh, to uh, let the person back past well, i mean the thing is i mean well or back to the end of the i mean that that is bad breaking into turn one from the evo driver i mean are you saying that people aren't allowed to defend? They can defend, but make it more noticeable. Uh, not when somebody's right up beside you, so... Or like that, right at the last minute when the person behind's got no time to react. Yeah. So, I mean, moving in a braking zone is something that it's not really on. This, what this actually, moving in front of someone, then banging the brakes on, and then being hit off. I'm sorry, but you deserve that. Might yeah, not a, deserve this though. <laughs> no, it's a bugbear of mine though when somebody breaks right in front of you after they've just pulled in front. There's nothing you can do apart from it, uh, unnecessarily, of, of course. Yeah, so I mean, these are examples of, of bad uh, driving, really. So that's aggressive defending, don't do it. Now, on to aggressive overtaking, dive bomb, or last of the late breakers. Yeah, I mean, it is okay to break a little bit later than other people. But there is a point when it becomes too late, and I'm sure we're going to see some examples of that. Uh, we see the two cars in front here are, are battling away, and the car behind. Um, I don't know, maybe this. I I'd quite say, a distance away, and then he's yeah. there on the brakes. Yeah, I mean that's a dive bomb and an aggressive defence. I mean, as the Jaguar driver is heading down the hill, and again here at this point is too far back but not only that because the two cars ahead are side by side there isn't really opportunity to overtake it's like okay there's tarmac on the left but that's a dive bomb and that's not a good bit of driving no i mean you'd be better off waiting for the two cars in front to have made a mistake and drive by or just try and follow them closely through the corner and expect them to be slower than uh, than a normal racing speed because they are side by side yeah, exactly. Uh, I wonder what we're going to be seeing down here. <laughs> I mean, well, there is a bit of space. If you do knock somebody out, then I take somebody out, then wait and let them pass. There is a bit of space, but it's late on the break. Never connected with somebody, but it's still kind of dive bomb, and you've got a high risk. Uh, high chance, sorry. Yeah, I mean, oh. that last one, I mean, going up the inside there, not this one, the previous one, there's no point because there was loads of space on the left hand side of the track. But anyway, that's dodgy overtaking. So, how it should be done stay calm. If cars are battling ahead, they will be slower than you, so be patient. It can pay off. So, a bit of an example now of how to do it from the Renault view, um, not from the Evo or Jaguar view, though. So, what's going on here then, guys? Obviously, the two cars were battling in front. Um, car in third place at the moment, being a bit patient. And um, two in front are taking up time by battling, and the patience is paying off, keeping it clean. And there's one move done nicely, uh, overtaking, uh, just, just by being patient, not by throwing it up the inside. Um, so again, here the Evo driver ambitious, but is it going to pay off for him? No. I mean, that's a situation where the Renault driver could have turned in for the corner, but spotted that there's a dive bomb coming and avoided it and carried on going. So, similar situation, 
Yeah, just just about to say, similar situation to earlier, but the, the Renault driver being patient, not going for the late braking, and it looked like he braked a little bit late, but it wasn't. It was just perfectly timed and was able to get the undercut or the switchback, as they call it. Yeah, so additional scenarios then, titled, bloody hell, what a muppet, what the fl- bl- are you doing? I mean, yeah, okay, what is he doing? <laughs> yeah, that's not acceptable, is it, really? Um no. And so the Jaguar driver there should really have uh, waited for the uh, Renault driver to come back past him because it was uh, unnecessary, unnecessary driving. So what are we going to see here? That's a, that's a handbrake. <laughs> that is a handbrake. Something we don't advise really in the league, um, James. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> it, it, it can be no. used for certain tracks, but it won't do your tyre wear much good, will it? Yep, nice bit no. of drift, yeah. That was a bit of a drift, yeah. Still, but that was under control. It, it wasn't, it wasn't, but handbraking <laughs> over the line, yeah, though, isn't it? <laughs> you lost the possession now. Yeah, so the DGT way, then, how it really should be done in the Dynamic GT League races. So, come on, guys, tell us now, then, if somebody has an incident, what should they do? Well, they should uh, let, if they're the cause of the incident, then let the person back through, uh, don't t- take the position. Uh, and if you're involved in that incident, I'd, like, I'd go back and look over the incident and then report it to see, just get your, when your back cooled down, you've not got that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for guys, when you're racing. Red, when you've not got the red mist anymore, and when the red yeah. mist is cleared, you can look Things back are, at an incident. And, so. I, need, yeah. I need to clear something up there though. So. Um, if you do cause an incident, you're saying that you should um, slow down and wait for the person that you've affected, yeah? Yeah, yeah. when oh, right, it's safe right, to yeah. do so. Right, okay, but it's alright, then you followed it on with, but what you, if you're the victim, what you can, what you should do is go and watch the replay and then report them. Now, admittedly, yes, if you're involved in an incident, if you're the victim, yes, you should always view the incident, but when you viewed the incident, if you've seen that the person who was the cause of it, like this, Oh, yeah, okay, so the blue car has made a bit of an error there, but if you watch the replay back and go, okay, well, the blue car has waited for me, do you still send a report in? No, if he's waited, then no, sorry, apologies. That's all right. It, it, it helped clear <laughs> I'm it Scottish. Quite, <laughs> it helped clear, clear it all quite nicely. So we're, we're seeing these drivers here then going side by side, making a little bit of contact here and there, but it's what happens when contact is made. Um, that's interesting in this but also that you can race close you can defend um, you just well you in a way what you're trying to say is don't go putting your car in silly positions like okay are these three gonna go three wide into the first corner you probably shouldn't do not normally um, the, the car in third place would be better off just being patient I mean he got very close there and he's ended up bumping somebody off so again the correct thing to do in the league would be uh, where it's safe to do so, allow the car to come back past you. It looks like that's what he's trying to do here. So there we go, car's gone by. So the uh, the middle car of the three now shouldn't really need to be putting a report in for that because uh, the car waited for him. Yeah, I mean, as a, from a driver's perspective, there's a there's a couple of reasons for that as well. If you someone hit, I mean, this that's squeezing, but there's just enough room for his car there. So it's it's uh, firm but very fair there. Um, so I, I like seeing that actually. The blue car is making it difficult but not forcing them off the road. Um, but I was going to say, from a driver's perspective, if somebody hits you off, you're going to be angry, right? But if you then instantly see that that person is slowing down for you, they're not slowing down. <laughs> um, yeah, if you see that that person is then slowing down for you, it gets rid of that anger or part of it because you can then as a driver go right they know they made a mistake there and yeah. they know they're apologetic because they're waiting for me something to I add on that it. as well is sorry ray just go quickly um something to add on that is if you're in a chat party with someone it's very easy to apologize for that person to accept the apology while you're waiting for them but if you're not in a chat party with that person you don't know how sorry that person is when they've caused the event but by seeing them slow down and wait for you to go back past them that's kind of like showing drivers respect and saying i am sorry because you've been able to see me slow down and let you back past okay we're gonna have another uh, look at uh, a couple of laps here another um 
different two laps and and I just want to uh, mention as well that these videos are to educate not humiliate um, I mean there's a little bit of contact there between those two cars there's nothing in that and to be honest if a driver reported that it probably wouldn't come to anything um, a little bit of um, rubbing is racing um, some people might not like that but I mean I, I would agree but it, it's the kind of couldn't care so less bring the whip, I don't care <laughs> <laughs> yeah true but it's the like okay there may be a gap but is it really safe to go for it if two cars are side by side do you really want to make it three wide with a very very late braking maneuver or if uh, you've got one car ahead of you is it worth going for the dive bomb? I mean, this is brilliant close racing, and you may have just heard there. If not, go back, and you may have you may hear that the blue car was actually lifting off through those fast corners to avoid hitting the back of uh, the white car. Yeah, and just coming out of the corner, it's just as close as he was just before the corner, even though he was lifting off. Exactly. So. A bit of caution is a good thing, but I mean, one of the things that I would mention is from a driver's perspective, if you've got a car behind you, whoops, oh, that's into the <laughs> barrier. Uh, if you've got a car behind you, you're going to be looking in your mirrors or your rear view um, to see where that car is. And the last time you look is when you decide, are they close enough to attack me? If the car is so far back that it makes you think they're too far back, if they then go for the dive bomb, if you're the attacking driver, you have to fully expect that the other guy is just going to turn in because you've come way too late. I agree. I agree. I uh, just want to quickly say as well that if somebody wants to put a report in, they do it on the Facebook page by sending a message to the admins on the Facebook page, not directly to an admin's personal uh, Facebook um, private message. Oh, 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 spinner, spinner, nearly. Um, I mean, when it comes to, to the reporting of, of drivers, I mean, I'm guessing this video isn't sort of showing people like what they should report, what they shouldn't report. It's mo is it more a, um, look guys, we want you to do this so that we, we end up finishing races with people not having yeah. to put reports in? Yeah, exactly that, exactly that. We want to try and avoid reports, but... Unfortunately, there are situations that happen where you feel that the other person should have waited for you, but they didn't. And if the report is necessary, then it's done through the correct means, which is ooh, ooh, <laughs> by doing it through the Facebook page. Yeah, now that was a bad move from the white car. The blue car was a little bit naughty as well, but they're both now behind the gold car, so I don't care. Um, <laughs> no, no, but I mean, okay, that was not a good scenario. That was a bit, a little bit of bad driving. But the white car made sure that the blue car stayed ahead because it was a dodgy late move. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and that's it gives kind of respect as well because if he made that move, smacked the blue one off, even though the blue one did do a wee bit of bad driving as well, then yeah, it wouldn't feel happy about it and then that's when it all gets heated yeah definitely and that's the thing you we don't want or i say we i mean you guys don't want sort of like arguments between drivers or things i mean sometimes um the brown stuff just hits the fan and accidents happen and sometimes people don't even know that they've caused something now i, I am aware that um a few of the drivers uh, may have put reports in and previous championships to perhaps try and educate newer drivers which i think in a way that that's understandable because it's not always easy to perhaps directly message another driver and go mm, what you did here was a bit dodgy because that can also um feed into arguments sometimes and obviously that's not the aim of it i mean it's meant to be sort of just fun close racing and to be honest when it comes to watching racing I much prefer to see cars giving each other a bit of room, going side by side and having a battle for ages, rather than somebody going for dive bomb later than Danny Ricardo overtakes and causing yeah. carnage. Yeah. I mean, also, one thing to remember within this league is you should always try and leave space, a car's with space, if you've got a car alongside you. Um, it's, it's not like necessarily in Formula One where they have that rule of. Or if you're on the racing line, then you can go to the apex or you can run the car next to you out wide and off the track because you've got the racing line or you're slightly ahead. Now, if you've got a car alongside you, 
you you leave a car's width of space. That way, there's no incident and no incident needs reporting. Yeah. 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 Okay, I think that's uh, just about brought us to the end of the video. Unless there's anything else that you want to mention, guys. No, nope. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. I think we've covered everything there. Okay, good stuff. So, educate, not humiliate, how to drive the DGT way.